never not a dose! Let's play some Hunter. The flames are wild and bright. Ooh. Hologine or Spurfang? Surely, is Kologan surely better than Spurfang in Hunter? You get a few buffs and Spurfang can be pretty sweet. Win rates are extremely close for the cards. I just feel sometimes that Hunter doesn't need to go to the Kologan era, but at the same time, Hunter does not have a card like Kologan. Oh, you can make Kologan earlier with studies? Yeah, that's the thing. So Spurfang, if you get like a nice buffy buff hunter, could be amazing. Like a nice mid-game piece and a faster hunter that wants to end the game by 8. But if you end up drafting, say, a couple mountain bears, a couple revenants, and your deck is more mid-range, I think Kologan fits better. Because then your opponent tries to play a big taunt, you Kologarn it, they try to kill Kologarn, you push damage with the rest of your minions, GG. Just in case a mage with four Drake Fire Amulets playing three in a row. Jeez, man. If you let a mage delve into that territory. Hey, a psych man. I'm tempted to uh, go Colo. I've been having trouble getting like uh, hand buffs as Hunter and less, less trouble, uh, less trouble getting um, uh, mid mid game cards like High Main or Obsidian Revenant and stuff. I think I'm gonna take a Colo and maybe like a a risk reward kind of thing based on experience that doesn't pay off, but. A little shimmer shot here. Just don't like these two threes. This could be a ping. We can fill out curve as we go. Little breeder could be good, right? Pick up some nice beasts along the way. Line dance I like. We'll find some threes to fill that curve. Hmm. Dragon Bane can be seven face. Can be seven face. However, Kologan can be 30 face. Take draw. Smuggler's crate is interesting. I actually think it's not rotten. <clears throat> so I think there's some refill. Ah, uh, or just a nice little smuggler's crate. I almost tempted to take a, a just in case refill. Last time I lost to a hunter that played a 3-3 Wolpertinger on turn 1. Yeah, I think we go Howl. The way the deck is going so far, I'll go with another line then. We'll pick up some 3s and stuff, little carrion studies. Observer. Oh lord almighty. Smugglers into buff Wolperting. Yeah, you, that was yesterday, was it, Psych? Mount all day, you think so? Buzzard is also my first beast for breeder. Man, these are just such good cards. I want all three, but breeder is the worst. Yeah, let's go mount. I think mount is just insane, right? Macaw? Ogre? Hey, Avaldi man. How you doing? Buzzard best card in Hunter? Well, I would say that Camel Mount is better, actually, later. I think I prefer Mako. Just gives you some value as well, Buzzard. Carrion Studies. Although I like Bloodguard, Crosswing. This deck is looking schmexy, huh? What I really need is some threes to help these line dance. The way this deck is looking now, I, I kind of wish I took Spurfang. Just it looks a little more... Smarky. What beast? Do I only have the one beast right now? No, I have the double Macaw as well. Okay. So, Sidekick? These just all kind of suck. Snipe or Sidekick? 
ramming mount. Troll? Nah, I don't like troll, especially when I have color guard. Just doesn't really work as a finisher so much anymore. The amount of 8 health things is very low. Especially since most of the 8 health things have rush or something, so they get damaged. It's usually an 8 mana kill an 8 drop that already killed your minion, so it's falling behind. The damage phase? Yeah, when it came out, it used to be consistently 8 damage phase. Now it's actually extremely difficult to get 8 damage phase with it. The amount of times you get honorable kill for 8 is phenomenally low. So they're trying to take the snipe for debating. I think we just go sidekick. Just like little help on board. Little bovine. Uh, I'll go bait and switch here. I like that secret. I actually do not have elementals. Win rate points to Intrepid, which is interesting. Do I need twos? I've got one, two, three, four. I need good twos, actually. I actually still need some twos. Are there any uh, good elementals in Hunter except the Obsidian Revenant on six? Hey, Holven. Because otherwise I might just take Tolvir. It's just a taunt that protects the things like myths or something like that, right? I can't really think of any good elementals that Hunter wants to draft. Are there like beast elementals? I can't really think of any. You prefer 3-2 mostly. I can see that as well in Hunter, you know? I do have a lot of like little ones for pings. I have Beaming Sidekick. The reason I, I'm thinking Tolver is uh, the taunt to protect something like Myths or something like that. Hey Ryudo. Hey Ivanovich. You think Anishia? Don't you think I'm a little heavy on the ones? And a little light on the twos, though. Just close a 5-3 rogue. What I thought was meant to be a 10 air. Eesh, I'm sorry, Halvin. The one you can just play on two. I mean, when rate does point to it, sure. Do I take another Furious Howl? This deck looks like it will empty hand often. The second Furious Howl is worse, though. I don't really like Azure so much. Another Intrepid? Man, deck will become... It will run out of cards so quickly, my Buzzards will become worse. Howl always draws one, yeah. Alright, let's go for it. Breast wing. I'll take a quick shot now, I think. Although Raid Leader is interesting. I don't want the freezing, I think. Hey, BBS. Azure used to... Be, was Azure Hall of Fame? Yeah, the thing about Azure Drake was... It was one of the only versatile spell damage and draw engines that used to be an auto-include in all classes back then. I think I take a quick shot. A little reach and a little something. Hat? You guys like hat? I kind of like hat with double frostwing and bovine skeleton. Also gives me something to fill my mana with, with all of these cheap things, and it's good with the intrepids. Hey Alana, you alright today? Ooh, I love Stable Hand. Probably Stable over Wolper now, though. Although I love Wolper as well. Hmm, this is another interesting one. What do you think here, lovelies? I'm not even sure about this one. Maybe even Tower Sergeant with all my board spam. It's 
still dealing with idiots. I'm sorry, you have to deal with me. George Munger. <laughs> George Munger. Is that a guy who sells George's at the local market in Australia? That is extremely bad, Lana. <laughs> Thursday, let's go. I don't know, I don't like this at two. It feels so expensive at two. Freezing trap, freezing trap could also still be good, huh? Uh, let's go freezing. I don't know about that one. Uh, okay, now this is where it gets interesting. I like Mantle Shaper. Especially with cards like Myths. Do you ever take Mismatched? Joking. Wait, wait, so I am worse than your bad clients. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Mantle's a very good card. I hate mismatched puzzles. But does this deck need some form of refill? This is the elemental. That's true, Mark, that we were asking. I know, Lan. I'm trying to chin up you, you know? Put a smile on your face before you deal with your work. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Holvin. I know I don't like mismatched, but it might be additional refill. I think I still go mantle. It's just good. Myths. Adorable now. Like all of you in chat? Sure. Smugs here. Incoming suspected scam call. Reported as a telemarketer. Oh, I didn't know the phone would tell me that. Alright. Look. Hey, Zinni. I guess you just go smug senior here, right? Yeah, this is more of a spare fang deck. Mufondi missed a lethal because Zinni was too slow, what? Someone on Facebook posted a picture that shows an 8 8 penguin on 3 as a hunter. I mean, yes, they high rolled mismatched fossils, Mark, in the 1 out of 10 million games they had to play it to get that. Oh, the whole book here, I'm doing. I thought he was clear when you told me about it. Hey, Astero. I think we take... I, the thing about Celestial Shot is... So many spells... So, let's put it this way. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spells, of which only 2 benefit from Celestial Shot. One of which benefits a lot, being Shimmer Shot. But without Shimmer Shot, Celestial Shot sucks. So I think it's not worth it, because I have a third of my deck being spells. Rebel Pawn, who uh, reactivated our uh, Discord chat. Huh? Um, thank you very much for the tier 2. 11 months. I appreciate it, Rebel. Thank you so much, man. Let's go smug. Ooh, Henchman. Henchman always over worshipper, right, guys? It's just... I don't even know, Rebel. <laughs> That's the yeah, It's The extra draw is just so good for this deck, right? I'm hopeful! 
Can we close out a 7th 12 class? Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Let's go for it. Uh, I restarted my workout routine yesterday. I felt dead. Before and after. I will fight with honor. can withstand the fires. This is a this is a slow card. I'll keep the Mako on the observer. I just my normal routine one or whatever kebab night. So like uh warm up, full body stretching, uh high intensity training, cardio, and then uh weights. So yesterday I did chest, back and core. Do you play the penguin? You do play the penguin, right? Yeah. Look at that entry animation, dude. EOD Lirino. Yeah, last week I skipped all three. I do three times a week about night. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Last week I skipped them all. I was just too busy. I had the tech issues. I was setting up some sponsors. Um, along with falling behind on YouTube and needing to catch up, I just couldn't. But got back a little into it yesterday. This week I, I purposely stopped like an hour earlier on, on the streams just to properly catch up. How are you doing, Dealey? Messa? Hello, hello. Cons? I'll take cons. I think I still coin Frostwing now. They pre -heal. I mean, there's a world here, guys, where you do something like Observer, Adorable. Is that better? And then Frostwing gives the double buff. What do you think? Is that too greedy? Nah, I think I do it. Or Buzzard, even. Okay. Hey, Blazer Rooney. You said you think Colo works. Yeah, I think Colo's still fine, by the way, Sai. Colo's still good. Ahoy, Tom. Hoi hoi hoi. I think I just tempo the four, honestly. I could go observer plus henchman. And then we go cub plus first wing. I think we do this. We can go Observer Coin for us to win, get the double buff. A charming composition. Ooh, I could even hat this and get the value trade. But then I won't be able to thrust wing. But what I could do is Observer Hench Hat Trade. And this would be a 6-5. And this would be a 7-6. And they just concede. And then this still gets the buff from Observer, right? No one's going to believe this. I got this. And then next turn we uh cub thrustwing full buff board. And that would be what, like eight and seven, fifteen and four, nineteen. Oh. Well then. Well, well, well then. Okay. I need to kill this poison. Do I throw the frost wing into it? I think I do. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Four, five, six. Okay, okay, check this out. 
One. Two. This becomes five. So now if I trade here, everything gets another buff. Sweet. And then I coin bait and switch. And just clock him. My hand is too full. So now they can double trade, but this goes up to nine health. Hey Rangsha. Where's the new patch mentioned title? I uh I didn't put it in the title, because I don't have patch notes or anything, Rang. But yeah, I, I we got the teaser last time, you yeah? Um I don't usually follow too much, Rang. Whatever happens, happens. It's just part of the day, you know, for me. No, the exact changes will come out in the patch notes. They did that teaser image, right, Kebab Night? I assume today, though, uh, at in five hours usually, right? And they concede. <laughs> I like I <laughs> Blazer is trying to not use the emote. <laughs> So it's all banned where that's a delightful ammo, what are you talking about? Blank? Oh, you probably have a... <laughs> you probably had a 70v bug. I thought you were trying to not use the emote. <laughs> you, ever, uh, you ever keep these two? I have so much early game. The thing is, I don't have a lot of threes. Will you do a run after a patch? Depends how the day goes, Rang. I mean, I'll do a run tomorrow, that's for sure. That will be after a patch. Today? We'll see. The only reason I'm keeping Bovine is the partner, though. The thing is, if I keep line dance, I only have three threes, Ivanovich. I could full mal though and look for early. Ah, that's full mal. I only have like three threes. I have good ones and twos. Let's find them. Eventually you'll hit a three. Yeah, but eventually it could be like turn eight or something, right? Okay, shut, shut, shut. No. No. Ivanovich. You're too good at this, Ivanovich. I swear. <laughs> we rise to the warm side. Okay, you have a quick shot here. Okay, but classic Ivanovich. Doesn't matter if I chuck it. Okay, cla classic. I think I quick shot here. They even coined for this. Now I line dance and then we breed our buzzard. How many beasts do I have? Four? Of course, that's how it works, even. Dude, <laughs> this is like all of my three drops. <laughs> Sludge on wheels! Ooh. Okay, that works. Damn, I, I don't think I've ever seen this come out of line dance. You just went from Ivanovich Fundamentals to the Elbow Mulligan. This is just called the Dose Skill Tal. Okay? It's, uh... We gotta term it, okay? It's just a Dose Skill. Winning? Dose Diff. Losing? Not the Dose Diff. Every time you win, that's called the Dose. Every time you top deck the right card, that's called the Dose. See you, Tad. Dude, I literally drew all of my three drops in a row. <laughs> Dude, Ivanovich, can you stop? They're vulnerable. Ah! Oh, 
Oh! Oh, you know, I actually did not know that Kareen is not immune itself. I might have missed one. Yeah. Oh my god. I actually did not know. Huh. Oh well. Those skills going 3 with the best class and 12 with the worst class. I think I still do this. If they sanitize here, I still push 10. Keyword other? Yeah, I've just never really read it. Annoying, but eh. mm, sure, you can heal twelve, but I can deal another twenty next turn. The warrior equivalent of prep coin concede. Rexa versus Gul'dan. What's a narc, guys? Know the true essence of fear. With a K and R A R K. The fires. Do you keep these? Like, do you full keep this, or do you say Chuck? One of these. Yeah. So narc, not that way though. Narc, like K N A R K. Is that a police officer? I actually don't know. Yeah, I think we, as in one, as in even chucking the studies, you think, Ivanovich? I think I only keep one of the macaws. I don't know about chucking this, though. No, they're like this. Actually, like this. Nice. Dude, I drafted a Shamoon with four lightning reflexes, two digging straight downs, and two living prairies. Damn, boy. You know, they keep studies? Interesting. See, I did keep. I did mulligan the right one because I got buzzed, and I did uh, keep the right one because it gave me King Crash. Uh, that's why I swapped it. Yeah, Narc is a narcotics police officer, but what, what. You see, my opponent's name is Narc Safari. Alright, this is a question I have as well. Someone was telling me it was random error. Do you do you carry in studies first here to get the extra buff from Buzzard? Or do you buzzard because you don't expect it to die? And then you double carry in studies next turn for the double reduction on your next minion. I'm I'm never sure about this why. Typically like buzzard first here onto no carry in. Carry in next turn. Carry the reduction. Quickly. Hero power first. Okay. I could, I could also. That is an option. No, no, I won't, I won't pick that one though. A savage person. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> commentator. It is an option, you are not wrong. So now I think I carry in studies. And then figure something out. A little bit of an awkward hand. Let's see what we get. Ooh. You ever take Revenant? I could take a loot harder.
think I might take Revenant. I'm gonna have to play Henchman here though. And this on three. This is gonna be a turn six, unfortunately. Not sure about this one. I mean, I could tempo the freaking beaming, but I think you just do this. guys look at this check out the stat line just focus on the attack stat line or the health stat line are you looking are you looking Woo? 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 <laughs> nice <laughs> On the other way around, guys. Come on. Oh my. Holy book. Man. Am I actually double trading into the seven? Do you ever just play Frostwing and ignore this? Or, or bait and switch and mantle shaper. How about that? And just ignore this. You just trade here. I'm almost tempted to just ignore this. They play sludge, I'm screwed though. Well, I could do this, yes, and double trade. Or I could bait and switch Mantle Shaper and ignore this. I think I prefer that. Just do this. Now, if they try to trade the 4-3, I kill it. If they trade the 6-6, six, six, awesome. If they trade the 2-2, two, two, awesome. Could be freezing trap, right? That's why I traded the left to debate them. Okay, this means I don't miss damage, right? So I'm gonna do um, this. I think I will trade this up. Still the same damage, roughly, I think. Could have dropped them to one, but. Lethal? No, it was one off, right, guys? I thought it was one off. Was it not one off? I thought I counted one off. Maybe I missed it. I mean, it didn't really matter so much, but I, I thought it was one off. But maybe I made a mistake. I think I keep this like that. I know, Chuck Ogre Gang, I'll draw three, but.
What about coin observer into observer into line dance? Surely that's good, right? I did. Yeah, I could go breathe there. No one's going to believe I thought it was one of. So the, 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 the minion I traded had three attack. became four so it was one two three but yeah i guess i must lethal then found to come this way. oh no You miss Lisa, so I have to unsub. Go ahead, Clapper. How does the order work with Breeder? I assume it would be left for um, the summon first. Wait, how does the order work with Breeder? Wait, what? What do you mean with a breather? I'm not even sure what you mean. I'm, I, I don't even, I don't even know what you mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to understand it. Oh, yeah, the, the buff works first before gank, because gank says after. And this says after too, so I guess it's play order then. Yeah, I'll play a 1 3 and the gangster would kill it. Yes. <laughs> go wide no ogre gang like two two one i could also try to find the buzz maybe i find the buzzard oh my god i whipped astounding okay i'm doing it this way boo Boop. A little off curve, but we'll do a observer frost wing next turn. <laughs> Sorry, I, I swear I didn't mean to pick on you, Evan Witch. I just genuinely didn't understand what you meant. Like, what do you mean, order? I don't know, it would die to the gangster. So, this trade, and then this trade. You ever kill the buzzard here, missing five? Is there gonna get an extra two buffs? I don't think so, right? Five is like so much. Is that a serious question? No. I mean, I think it's a better question than what happens with the breather or their mate. <laughs> Leave 
Ethan. Yeah, yeah, then hitting the mark, blah, blah, blah. Now let me get a 12 hunter first, Tal, and then we're all right. All right, let me I'll be right back real quick. Let's uh, go for another one. the buzzard huh so do i take bovine here for the line dunces maybe <laughs> i think i do i could take frostwing and then like carrion studies or some crap but i think i do i wanted buzzard mainly but and now i'll just do the line dance my my fun coin shuriken. Yeah, yeah. So I it gives me a partner, and I can bovine hat right mark now. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm I just saw your message from the corner of my eye, Dad, from over there. I was like, okay. <laughs> now you see me. Now you mother flipping don't. <laughs> uh, do you think treasures are gonna stay next rotation? I have no idea. I, I assume no. They were no bitch. And the reason is that they seem to be trying a per expansion fresh thing for Arena, if that makes sense. And uh, the legendary change, the draft change, seemed to be met with. Uh, very good uh, feedback whereas the duels seem to be met with neutral at best feedback i don't know though i expect them to try something else with the expansion Arena been popping, man. Hey, Major. Hey, Canny. Thank you for the good luck. Okay, I think I have to double trade. I mean, I don't have to, but what did they get? A five and uh, that's that's a, that's a good three drop, man. Three drop. 3 mana 3-3 three, three charge, play a 2-4, discover a 5 cost and a... Oh lord. Oh no, guys. <laughs> Let the bad lands burn. <laughs> I think we're in trouble, guys. Well, this is a... This is a <laughs> that's a good turn. Oh, they wanted the two mana, but why not your face, dude? Is this guy is this guy BMing me? 
Is this guy BMing me? This guy's BMing me, dude. Stone fur, so soft. <laughs> Let him cook? Mate, what? You know what I will say though, Ivanovich? I think the the impact is uh Hmm, wait a second. I think the impact is uh larger than people think, but there's also uh there's also some form of scapegoating to barcodes. Um so I think I think people with that you don't expect to be barcodes are actually retiring more than the accounts that you think are barcodes at this point, I feel. Play that again, I think now we go with this. It does not make sense at all. Well, it does if you're incorrectly assuming people to be barcodes. Hey, Artstone there. So for example, let's say you are a a top Chinese player, right? Let's say you are a top Chinese player, right? Someone that's sincerely, right? Played so much arena. Like so much arena on Asia, which is an extremely difficult server, and on China, right? You've got me fired up. And after playing for eight years, they delete your account, and they make it so that if you are from China, you can't make an account without making a VPN. You can't purchase anything on. Blizzard servers because China doesn't allow purchase it purchases. You just can't. And the only way you can make an account that actually has some gold in it is by uh, buying a bot account for thirty cents because you can't spend any money in game. Then you buy that account simply because it costs you 30 cents to have a couple of thousand gold. But then you don't retire at all. You just play normally because you are a top player. And you end up number one on Americas, for example. Yet people still call you a barcode. And then when you do, you change your name to CNQT, your actual name. And that is exactly what happened to number one in A right now, for example. Yet those people are still called barcodes. So, although barcodes are a problem, there's also a subset that people claim are barcodes and aren't. So, it's just become a wider issue. There are, there, are, there are those spam letter names that aren't barcodes, and there are people that don't have those spam letter names that spam retire anyway. And the truth is, the problem is just not attributable anymore, in my opinion. There are maybe 30 people like that who can do that. 30? No, no, there are hundreds of people that do that, in my opinion. I could color this, yeah. Which means I could have traded the other way. Okay, hurry. Follow, follow. I don't care about your... Follow. Um... No, I'd let 
I guess I could have killed a three, right? And not damaged this. I changed my mind, though. I could have saved a minion for sure, right? I think we're fine, though. Again, I'm not saying that that's always the case, right, Theo and everyone. I'm saying that that's also partial. Partially an effect, so... I don't know. I mean... I, I know people that don't buy illegal bot accounts that uh, made eight accounts and spam retire until they get a good deck on that account. And to me, to me, that is also part of the potential problem that we speak about, about the power level, right? But those then aren't classed as quote unquote barcodes. But then there are people who play fair using a botted account, so it's a, an against TOS account purchase. They're just amazing players. And those people are still called cheaters. So it just, beca it just becomes an unassuming mishmash mix of I don't know. The problem exists, but I feel like people attribute it incorrectly sometimes. I'll chug this. I think I keep these, though. I mean, that's the, it's also part of the problem, right? Barcode, the, the name barcode was designated to throw away account, which potentially implies cheater. Now people use the term barcode for strong opponent deck. So honestly, it just depends on what you say barcode is, I guess. Hey, Maki, I exif. Vayne's just naturally high, and normal players even willing to retire once times a week adds up heavily. Why does it matter if you buy or not? Spam retiring to Godlight Egg is barcode. Mm, but that's not the actual definition of a barcode. I mean, the, the idea of barcode is botted throwaway account. That's, that's what barcode was defined as, and I know because the person who defined it is Coast. <laughs> Right, so same, same, same effect, but barcode implies cheater, right? It's, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say as well. I think I might coin the shock hopper. No, but the idea of barcode basically comes from like what was it, Starcraft? where they used to make these throwaway accounts that had L's and I's, lowercase and uppercase, so it looked like a name that you couldn't recognize, or whatever. Now I wish I coin... Nah. I think I quick shot and just double trade. The opponent doesn't have a skin or golden character equals barcode. Could also be a new account, but yes, those are... That's the thing that I would say. All those things that you mention are more likely to make your opponent potentially be that way. But it's still not a guarantee. So, for example, if you play on Asia, there will be a lot of players, Chinese players, who will have a new account with a non-golden hero and a basic card pack that will have a random letter spam name. But they do not necessarily no, no spam retire. Right, that, that's where all the weird stuff comes in. Does the problem exist? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure the problem exists. Um, do we need to do more to solve it? I mean, Blizzard does, right? For sure, for sure, for sure. I missed one. I, I need to focus here. Obviously, that should have gone face. Um, but... If, if when they delete 10,000 of those accounts, right, then we grab 10,000 of not those accounts and call them that, then the problem will never be solved in our minds, even if it's actually being solved. If that makes sense. Mm, rust wing this. 
think we still pressing. Henchman is pretty good, but I could henchman stable hand, so let's just do this for now. Yeah, there's also what you're saying, Lana, right? Because every time they ban 100k, they will make another 100k, right? Like, also that. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Question here is, do I trade? Wait, I have to check. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, and 5, 17. And they have 26. So we're talking about 9 spells. I wonder. Hmm. I have a couple of options, right? I could explore his hat. Then Fable. Then trade and then play carrion. I think I still prefer this. Still firm, so soft. On them. The question is, do I trade here? I think I do. I mean, eventually it might work, but they need to keep having ban sprees, so it just no longer becomes profitable for them to make them. What you need to do is make it... Yeah, yeah, make it unprofitable for them by making it more difficult. Not just ban sprees or whatever. That's... Kind of hard to say as well. But also, I also think what Tal said is also a thing where... The more you ban them, the more they also try to hard, try harder to do it, because part of the reason that a subset of people are doing it is spite. Right? The man, oh, what the hell do you mean I played for 10 years and you deleted my account? Ideology. A subset, not all of them, a subset. I don't know. It's... I just want... I want the problem to be solved, but I also want people to be logical and educated about it. Not just scapegoat it. You know what I mean? That's annoying. I mean, hat trade should always happen, I think. Let's see, carrion. Revenant. Yeah. So I can play Revenant and hat trade. I think that's the line. I mean, I could do these two. But I think this is fine. You could make Heroic Arena where the retire button's removed. Like people keep mentioning, but the Heroic players will face each other. But removing the retire button... I, I think will impact the normal player more than that, because all they have to do is... I mean, they, they already spend so much... Not time making bots that automate the entire account creation process all the way through climbing to Legend on the rewards track. Forcing them to retire three times will not stop them, in my opinion. Similar situation with cards. Some people use cheats on PC. Mm, auto lock, see through walls. Some people use a device called Cronus Max. And can we start calling them hackers, even though it's still their own categorization? Like barcode and hearthstone stuff, but you can't do anything about it. Yeah. And the problem still obviously exists and is, is true, Dealy, right? But. You just concede. If you remove the retire button, you can concede, right? What do you do? Do you just go for the colo here and hope that they don't have an answer? Sure, they have an answer, man. They trip sevens after Serethine, right? What else can I do? Breathe there and find. Nah, it has to be colo. I 
at least why because you give people more gold yeah it's true you do return some gold back into the economy but i think it's become more about the the feel of the play rather than getting an extra 10 gold now does forging the card mean it doesn't go back to their hand i don't think so k razzy i'm not sure though actually maybe someone's aware Does anyone know if I forge it? Do I get to keep it after Kolo? I mean, Seraphine, 10 damage dart throw. Should still go back. Still the same card. Ah, this one's game, I think. I saw Dreads transform the card and still went back. Yeah, yeah, okay. Got it, Shaggy, thank you. There you go, okay, Razzy. I just, there's no way, right? I... High roll a macaw? Frostwing hat? Maybe it works for me, I should try it. I don't know. Yeah, there's some inconsistencies for sure. Like, you know what I know though? Like, yesterday people were talking about how Raden isn't summoning Forged cards. I think that's a bug. So with Kthir it's different though, because Kthir still... St Kthir has like an underlying effect, I feel. Um, where the card is still Kthir in the background, so whatever you're doing to it, it still transforms again. Like, I think if you stars align, it's still Kthir as well. I'd like a, a little Seraphine myself one day. That could be you see. Back to work. Yeah, for you just technically not the same kind, but I also don't know. I think I is there any way? I'm just so far behind fatigue. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Well, yeah, Raden should, but it it, it yesterday I uh, I saw where it didn't major, but I think that's a bug because I have seen Raden summon them back. I think it depends. I think some cards are coded to look at the original card, and the Forge card counts as a different card, and some cards just grab that card whether you transform it or not and deal with it again, like Secret Passage or Clear. Now, yesterday, uh, Mafundi was saying that his opponent played a Raden and they yeah, are like the Watcher, or some people were saying that their four man elemental wasn't getting transformed or whatever. Ah, uh, henchman in the opening hand sucks. M8, thank you for the follow, M8. So it's both the same card and a different card, right? Like, for example, Forged Molten Rune can generate Molten Rune. Oh, no, no. Forged cards? Uh, forged cards have always summoned from Raden. In the past. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. I, I, it's changed recently or a bug. Um, whether, whether like on purpose or not, I don't know. But it, it, they used to summon for sure. Like in the Titans meta, the, the beginning of the showdown meta, for sure. I remember playing that 6-5 rush on purpose for Raden and getting it back as a reactive piece. And I, I'm 100% sure. Candyman, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Man, it really sucks I got Hedron in my opening hand. That is going to be a little bit of a, let's say, a heavy hitter here. Having one less card is very big versus a warrior. It's the same warrior I faced earlier. Hat sidekick now. I could just breather. Breather coin hat. 
Man, hat sidekick is so good. What if I had sidekick and then breed their coin buzzard? I did, Dealy. Looks like Canada, Australia, and uh, UK prices have gone up, basically, right? Let's swarm you up. I mean, do you ever coin for us doing to hit this? I think I do this. I think I do go buzzard. The question is, do I coin buzzard? I think I do. Oh, from March. And I think Turkey tier 3s, though. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Dealey. I expected this to happen way, way, way before, so I'm not, like, surprised. In fact, they introduced geographical pricing about a year and a half to two years ago, and they reduced the prices of those three countries. The UK had a five pound. Um, UK had a five pound price. They put it down to four, and they said they will change it accordingly over time. And uh, well, they only did now. No one's going to believe us. I mean, it's gonna trade one, but I'm just frustering it maybe then, right, Ivanovich? Missing four feels like a lot there. I'm more scared of the whole bellowing shindigs and sanitized shindigs, but I'll get the taunt now out for their weapons. If they want the armor, they have to take a nice little hit here. And five health should be a nice breakpoint. It's a bad breakpoint versus bellowing, but next time I can get nice. Oh, don't do, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mother effer. Alright, we'll frostwing that then. Makar frostwing, right? Um. This combo is so good, dude. This combo is so, so good. I think they're gone. Yeah, I know, Dealey. The geographical pricing did hit, hit hard. So they can swing face and bellow and sanitize or whatever. They're one of the four sanitized, though, which I think means we take it here. I can't get another buff, but I've got 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, nice. I got my revenge on Chris. He beat me last time. Mother of Pearl, Sev! I remember Dealey, my, my, uh, the, the, I, I knew about the geographical pricing Dealey, but I never, like, quite attribute, I never, like, scrolled through all the prices of all the countries, right, Dealey? I remember once I was so confused, right? I had a stream where I only got one prime sub and one sub. Uh, this, this has, has to be, like, a year ago or something that I'm mentioning. Um, and, I mean, it's fine, but, dude, again, henchman, my opener. It's like the third time, dude, of my games. Um, oh, I forgot I had this card. Anyway, I had a prime sub and a, and a normal sub, right? And then the next day, I had, like, three subs and, like, 20 gifted subs. I was like, oh my god, this is an amazing day. And then a week later... 
I, uh, I realized that that day earned less than the previous day. And uh, I, I thought it was a glitch, so I looked into it. And yes, some subs are worth 250 for me and some subs are worth 10 cents for me. So one sub could actually be worth 25 subs somewhere else. I think they wear even less. Oh, I mean, I do have an actual elemental and stuff, but maybe I even freaking explosive sheep. I don't know. This just feels bad. Henchmen in opening hand. Their trick totem already gave them a nice bit of value. It's gonna be a rough one. Helps a little bit, but just not enough. That would have been nice last turn, maybe. Well, for there it costs many lira, right, Dili? It's just that their their currency was super inflated. Okay, can you please like help me, Trick Totem? Am I going double to? I guess. No one's going to believe this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lana. It, it, uh, prices are very expensive. Ah, uh, Lana. Like, the UK is the most expensive, I think, in my opinion. The UK, five pounds, man. That's like eight dollars. Tracking their movements. Seven dollars? I don't know. Boat yourself. I'll take face. I'll take face. Um, I think we do this. Side with this. Go for the oh, empty hand. Yeah, it's five. No, it's going to. Ooh. It's going to be five, right, Dili? I was afraid. I was also afraid they were going to cut Prime, but they changed. Uh, they made Prime local pricing, Dili. Which I think is, as in, I'd rather Prime always gives me two pa two dollars or whatever, to be honest with you, right, Dili? But I'd also rather they make Prime geographically priced, um, rather than remove it. You know what I mean? Camo mount. I want this card. Do I ever camo mount the Mimiron? I mean, camo mounting the four four or the five five is the best for Wind Fury. And then do I ever shimmer shot the divine shield? They were talking about unsustainability of prime because they pay out for prime, but they're not earning more as Twitch, right? Do I have mechs in the deck? I think I will do this. I know I could hero power, but... Wait, what? Oh, did you know that works that way? You know, I didn't know that... What? Did you know about that? Because it's a divine shield? Oh, I... Oh, I was... Sir oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Huh. Savona and the rolling here. We only lost that seratine so far. All right, this uh, I'm kind of hopeful about this run. Would be really nice to get the twelve, but we're still at seven. I start to be a little hopeful at ten. The deck is good though. The deck is good though. Man, these two are so good. I still haven't been offered Serith in Lana. 
I've been offered a bunch of jewelry though this meta, so I'm not like complaining about quality. But I, I'd like to, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I play enough and I, I value the variety more, and certain is also a primo. I'm almost tempted to key. I think I might do this. Try that. Hello, Zygo. Hello, Slendy. Weapons is charge of income from ads isn't doing a good job at Twitch. We pay for subs and they make most people watch ads and still aren't making money. Well, the people who sub don't watch ads, right? And uh, how much money they make from ads, Hearthstoner, also depends on the, the people buying ads, right? I think I think Google and YouTube are better at selling their ad space. Um, I also think that Twitch server costs are higher because they're full on live. You ever... You ever Intrepid Coin bait? I think Intrepid Coin breeder actually though. Okay, so now this is where the question arises. Do you go skeleton for line dance? Or do you go buzzard anyway? I think I go skeleton. I lust. I, can you see I, I have one lust? Nice tub deck. Huh? Nice tub deck as well. Nice positioning, not that method. Amazon has its own servers and who own Twitch? Yep, you know it. Oh yeah, yeah, as a, as a, as a large company, they would remove Twitch if, if it's not like worth it as a big picture. But individually, it might not make sense for them. And yeah, Amazon Web Service deals with uh, servers for many, many companies, right, Dealey? Including Kick, yeah. I don't like bait and switch so much, but I feel like I should be holding the henchman a little bit more. And this gives me a better... Uh, more buffs. You're playing Power Wash Simulator? I've seen some people play it. Looks relaxing, but also not mine. A AWS is um, one of Amazon's golden geese, right? At this point though, Deely, I think they just want to be... Um, they want to be a global market sector by themselves, right? Like. They, they delve into pharmaceuticals, stores, uh, even even doctors and other Amazon services and, and Prime and TV shows, right? And gaming and... What am I doing here? Probably bunk here and play these two. In which case, do I ever bunk left? I got this. I dealt with AOS when I was working a lot. Pricey but stable. Well, that's kind of good in a way, huh? Okay, now they trade the three. I was hoping they would try to do something like this. Damn. So now you trade the four seven. No, you just go face smart. Smart, 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 smart. Kill it off. And re-summon it, and then hit this. But also camo mount hit left, and then quick shot this. Silence would be a punish, but I think that's the line. So. 
I know I don't get the draw, but I think I need to. We'll try and get a colo going. We'll pop with this, then we colo. Beating all the main game missions using DLCs now. Okay, they have no spells in hand because that is not their top deck. Switch on the chat and white vitality just be independent. Removing some stuff from the side might help. Not laughing the price for any community consumers. I mean, I think they attempted to, right, Dealy? To remove both of those, right? Just attempted is the keyword, right? Do I warg? I think so, because it does get a buff, right, after this dies. I know I lose the hat, but... A nice little buff. And take a look here. Hey, eagle. Hopefully this can carry me a little bit. I also do have draw, right? I have furious howl. That would be a nice, a nice draw. A bomb. A vessel. Okay. I mean, I could do some hat shenanigans. I think I just colo this. I need, I need to be pushing, right? I need to be pushing. They, they have more freaking health than me, but. We have lethal set up, right? We have five from hand and uh, more than a level on board, but one siphon they get this back. Oil. Demonic. Okay. It looks like they don't have a siphon so far. I might honestly like hat the bovine and play abyssal. Just, just so that they can't get it back and had this so that if it dies, it gets resummoned and I also get to deal the three or whatever. We'll see. Like, if they're gonna try to play the 5 7 taunt here, it just doesn't work. I just take it, right? Well, I'm taking the henchman. I think I stick to my play, right? It also cleans up. Like this. And then you buff this again, right? That's pretty sweet. Alright. Looking good, looking bueno, looking kinder bueno. Gucci sunglasses. Okay. That's fine. So this becomes a 1-1 one, one or it stays as a 2-2. Two, two. I guess it stays as a 2-2 two, two now. Yeah, they still go for the play. Do I want to kill the 8 1 or do I want to push 6? I feel like I want to kill the 8 1. Push 6. This 8 1 could do so much damage. Yeah, I could try to freeze it, but they could have a rat or rush. I hey, I got you, friends. It's not about sc being scared of death as much as just being able to infinite re-summon the bovine, right? Like, this is just like infinite value for me, so I try and I can make it a 4-4 again, right? It's like... I miss 6, but I guess way stronger board. Because now they can... Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Now that's perfect. Now I don't care about the 8-1.
they can replay it for all I care. It's probably losing. As Thank you so much for the 500 bits as has he, as has he Thursday, I was going to say. As happy Thursday. Really appreciate support. Hope you're having a lovely day. Tongue twist any shouldn't be. That's uh I have two cards. Their early game school spirits was actually good, and so was their school spirits now. Okay, they're going for the fragments. Wait, what? What? Huh? Mate, what? Mate, mate, what? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? I think it shows because they traded it again immediately, Zygo. So, like, uh, a visual thing because they were trading it away. So, they traded Librarian into the second position in their deck. Twice. What the hell? Right, draw. Alright! Hope you're having a great day though, as I'm, I'm sorry for saying Hazzy Thursday. Maybe I should call you Ap Apag? I don't even know. <sighs> Alright, this is a good run for a hunter. You do. All right, boogs. I must protect the wild. Let us see you. You like I keep the left fire. too. Carry on to coin for us swing as a line. John, drop him of your gifts. Can I know what it is now? <laughs> Collector's pack of the Doctor Who set in MTG, dude. You still playing MTGA yourself, Slendy? Hmm, do I take the buzzies? I think I do. Question is... Am I playing in next turn? Maybe. Colo and I'd rather have Colo in the opener than Henchman though, so I can get this freaking extra draw. Damn, I think I Observer instead of Buzzard. What do you guys think? No one's going to believe this. Yeah, enjoying it a lot. That's awesome to hear, Slendy. I, didn't, uh, some, I think it was John that told me there was some Doctor Who set, actually. Mm. Not this time, no. Not this time, say. I think I will do this now. I did actually get it in my mulligan, I think three or four times though, this run. Which is quite a lot for 10 games. It was in my starting mulligan twice as well as I removed that, obviously. <laughs> Makes sense. Either way, I play for like, my thinking about the bait here is number one gives me an extra buff for buzzards. Number two, if they trade, I get the hit. That's the annoying thing. If they don't trade, um, I get to play the Frostwing. Good call from them there, by the way. I think I will go Frostwing left now, though. I was hoping that they wouldn't take the kill and not be able to play this. Right? Like, trade off the buzzard and then play this. And then this will be the bait and switch target. Sucks that they also got rid of my uh, observer. Really sweet claw fury. 
Without it, without the observer cleared, we would have just snowballed this game, I think. A top deck 3 would be great next turn. Line Lance Hench. But we are ahead as is. And uh, the henchman's really hard for them to deal with. Ooh, that's slow. That's slow. I'll take that. Come on, give me a 3 drop. No. So I think I go 1-1-1 one, one, one henchman. So let's start with this. Beetle. One. Claw Fury. Huh. Let me work my magic. Surely you don't trade, right? Yeah, Claw Fury helps me get the extra attack on the first wing, right? There was a world where you Claw Fury and take this trade, but... Reflexes. Reflexes is interesting with the Flash of Lightning. Because they can, they can do some shenanigans, but you do get druid spells, so... Okay, free dragon. Yeah, this is going to be a swing turn for them, but I am so far ahead. I'm not sure a swing turn can really, really get them back in it. This Claw Fury will do so much work next turn. Runic? That will help a lot, actually. Because they can go 1, 2, 3, and then value trade here and push another 2, right? Yeah, actually, quite good. I think I might line dance first. I know it's off curve. I guess what I could do is 2-2 two, two hero power and then go for 3-3. Three, three. Nah, just go for the off-curve more power. Double three. I guess I could also double three. And push. Ignore this. Because the Claw Fury makes me take this train, gives me a 5-5 five five is the thing, right? I can just push face with it. Okay. Stone fur so so now the question is, do I trade? I think I just let them. I do this, I think. And uh, these go face. Let them take this trade. Hey, Dobre. Hey, hey, Dobre, I should say. I don't care if they take this trade. It's fine. Do I take four? Wait, do I have lethal? Three, six, twelve, and five, and two. I, can see. I was one off lethal. I'm a little drained, a little under the weather. Hey, I mean, I was a little under the weather on like Sunday, but it's been like dragging on a little bit, but I'm all right. All right, oh, I need to go to the bathroom quick. Yeah, I have a little bit of like a sinus headache and a little bit of a stomach bug, I guess. Hey, so it's not like I'm really sick. It's just a little irritating. That's all. All right, uh, bathroom break. Um, let's go for a ten.
What's going on here? I think I quick shot this and trade. And I could try to do other things. No swarm. Hey, thank you very much, Techno Swarm, for the prime. Sorry about the timing there from me. Thank you so much, though. I was gonna coin and then play line dance. That was my plan, by the way. So I coin, line dance, carrion. I think now we just line dance, though. Hey, it's all good. Hey, chin up, brother. Don't you forget that. Try and find the buzzies. I really want to get the tempo from this thing. I could gain tempo very soon. That would be me having a slow turn. Hmm. I could coin Mantle Shaper. We do get the buzz. Maybe I just buzzard and then swing. I think that's fine. I could even coin carry and studies, actually. Okay. We'll pop next turn. Proto, honestly, in this matchup. I don't have an elemental. I think I go Proto. It's more about... It's more about having a heavy hitter. Ah, uh, Garati Fingers! Delightful to see ya. They deal with this. Thanos was also a consideration, but I feel like my hand needed a heavy hitter rather than a draw. Summoning a two instead of a one drop is. And it's alright, but. Siphon. Chaos creation, okay. They do have. Oh, that's good because they do have the double sludge, right? Hmm. At least this thing stays alive. Am I gonna rush into this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Think so. I could freezing trap instead of head. Not whether it matters, but that's so lucky. I mean, I, I have a good deck. That is a great top deck though as well, but probably luckier for me to generate this to be completely honest. Got some good draws from their end, but uh, my deck is pretty good. I got a good RNG generator, right? I want a freezing trap, but I think this is better. It just gives me the buff on the bovine, right? And then we do this. Beautiful. See them get out of this one. Ah. This time. The Observer of Myths is so good in this deck. So good in this deck. It's just been so good with the uh, bovine skeletons and the twisted frost wings. Good one, Ogre. Yeah, that means if they trade their Geode, I win. If they tap, I win. If they swing with their weapon, I win. If they don't heal, I win.
Uh, this will be an another good tourney run. For sure here. The misplay they didn't bump into one two was clutch. Oh, with the void walker, you mean, right? Agreed, Kalka. Agreed, Kalka. Man, these. I know it might be weird, but I feel like this is my keep. Essentially, Danny, anyone that entered or whatever. Uh, all of February, you have to submit your best run with every class. And then the scores from February will be used as a way to seed, I guess you can say, to seed your moves. I know I'm gonna fall behind with this, I think it's fine. To, to, to seed your position into a phase two, which is a round robin head to head kind of style tournament. Uh, yeah, we have. Well, you have to take a bunch of screenshots and upload them. Hey. And he will check them at the end of February. To play a bovine here. Uh, I think it will be March, Danny. I think Fable is just too good, though. Stone fur is so soft. On them. I could even coin a 2-3, though, huh? Which means I should have started with it. I, I think I do. I just want to really get ahead versus the rogue. Are they, va they are value trading. Damn. Do you ever just frost wing this? Or do you camo mount and smark? Man, wind fury would be insane. I'm almost tempted to frost wing trade left. I think that's my line. Like, if they really want to trade and replay this just to kill a 3-2, I'm happy. If they want to take this trade and play a 5-drop, then I camo mount a 3-2. Well, that sucked. Face. Why would you trade? Hey. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Um... I need to kill this. Am I killing it with camo mount or hat? I think it's hat. So 3 1 hat. Hope you don't have but I have to kill it. Reset the game. That is so annoying. So do I ever double hat now? I think I might double hat instead of intrepid. Hey, senseless. Just play so well around the fishy flyer, right? Otherwise, they fishy flyer, they have a 4 1. I, I don't have a way of dealing with that 4 1. I'd have to trade a 3 2 in. Which means I'd rather not play the 3 2 and have a 3 1, right? Without playing this. This is probably where I get it, so I can do 1 3 bait. Going all right, senseless. We're just chilling today, man. How are you doing? How have you been? We rise to the warm sun. So I want the gatel out, I think. Although bovine skeleton is just better, right? 
if I take this trade, this becomes a 3 3 and I bait. I mean, I think this is happening, this is happening. The question is, do I get it? I think I do. Despite bovine being a touch better, it just kind of snowballs. I'll value trade here and send this face. Yeah, it, it could very well be. Alright, Forsaken with a nice little top deck drill is pretty schmexy. Go for the trade. Nice. So they can double trade. And there you go. Immediately generates the full package. No problem though. So in my deck, I still have a Buzzard and a Frostwing, and I can guarantee either of them, right? Exclamation mark, Tiny. Well, you think this is a noob because they just generated the Azerite Scorpion for six mana in one turn? Huh? What? I really want a hat, but I think we do this for now. My hand is too full. I'm pushed so much surprise damage. I'm gonna play the henchman next day. I know I could have played it. My, I want to see them try empty their hand for the scorpion. And I know they have. All the treasures, right? So they can do a bunch of BS. The gun snake will be lethal by itself. Are they killing this? Are they not killing the cow? Okay. It's actually a rough outcome, although I can double hat. It's honestly probably the line. Makes this cheaper anyway. Can even triple hack, right? do this right the 4-4 four, four next turn plus hat and then we fear is half a refill okay they're just emptying their hand essentially but these are four spells that cost like five less is that good check is that good check Probably want to kill this now, I presume. Want to get to the draw. Pendy. Cactus construct. It's actually annoying because I can't deal with wide boards.
Okay. That's so quite lucky. With every step, the light guides you. I mean, but in game ING has nothing to do with your tires, though, I'm sorry. Like hitting the random nether and hitting the random light in the darkness and hitting the random top deck drilly and hitting the vicar into discovered equality. It's all just over the top BS, huh? I can't even play the freaking hat. I don't even want to play freezing now. Damn, I need it like. Honestly, probably any other card. I think any other card actually was great. Any other card that wasn't this. Right? So I could play the hat and draw. I could freeze to draw one more. It's also giving them another holy spell though. And I can't hat, so I also draw one less. Has to be the lines, just annoying, right? This hat ain't big enough for the two of us. Get your own. Okay. Hey, thank you for the cheer, Josh. Appreciate it. Yes, there's no games during this meta. It's like it's a bone of that broken knife makes it much less fun. For sure, for sure. But that doesn't mean I that doesn't mean uh Like I don't I'm not like salty about it. I know it exists in everyone's games, but I can say that my opponent got like seven, eight lucky things going their way, right? I know better than it looked at first, yeah, because I got hit the quick shot at least, right? I think I take care. No one's going to believe this. Get I'll hero power. I know I could explore his head, but I, I need to start hero powering. Any reach in my deck? Not really. But the Cairn can push 5 or 6, maybe. And with Freezing Trap, maybe we can do a few things. They still have another random Scorpion spell. They still have the full shell game and another Excavate. And they have a couple other cards. And the top deck. Tire Slick, okay. Static Tank. Order. Do you think your chance of winning this game are? Hundred percent. Also, this deals great. Hundred percent seems a bit high. Thank you. I'm gonna try and make it harder to kill this. 
<clears throat> I got King Crash from my uh, one mana beast that gives me a random beast. Morokne. Done. Yeah, they, they high rolled so much this game. Like in game RNG, right? The top deck really the snap, and then if, if, if they didn't get nether, I win. This from Shell Game. Right, the, the mortal eradication to kill my stealth as well. Right. More heal from Shell Game. Alright, GG. Right, it's dead. Ah, uh, the random excavate repo to you so from Kajamite. Ah, uh, we were close to winning that, I actually think. They actually needed, quite literally, like, eight amazing things to go their way to win that. Like, no more eradication for my stealth plus extra four heal. I think we win. Um... No snap nether, no top deck drilly, because of the top deck with the 2-2 two -two rush, right? I will fight with honor. Sometimes you're not just des just just not destined to win. Yeah, it happens. You ever get tilted? Some people, some people think I always get tilted. Uh, I think it's just part and parcel of the game nowadays. I'm gonna try this. Hey, Demon Aya. Which does defend this guy? I mean, see, the word barcode means cheater. This person is Chinese, that's the only thing we know about them so far, and you call them a cheater. I, I don't think... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I see it differently. Just a random Chinese character guide high wins, surely he isn't a barcode. Oh yeah. Sure, just a random uh, seventh account of someone spam retiring until they get eight rogues on all of their accounts at high wins. Surely, it doesn't mean anything. Me. <laughs> Mate. I think I shimmer and go face. Let's see if we get a rush. Me to call me out? How does it feel? No? This is, this is Chinese, guys. Uh, they could be a cheater, they could not. Assuming that because they're Chinese, they're a cheater is dumb, in my opinion. How can someone cheat in Hearthstone? Well, essentially people buy botted accounts, they've that have a lot of gold, um, which gives them the room to cheat, right? A guy running into a building. <laughs> what? A guy running into a building while being chased by a cop car <laughs> made what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you have amazing imagination, though? <laughs> Dude, I love Observer, but I think we do this. I didn't realize Shimmer worked that way, Psych, until earlier this run. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, check this out, guys. It's gonna clear. It's just gonna clear. Watch. One, two, three. It's gonna clear. Stone Age. Stone Age. Stone 
dirty. It should have been acid more, mate. <laughs> should have been acid more, mate. That would have been dirty. Alright, come on, give me this. I want to go into a final boss. Yeah, that was that was. Man, Bronze Dragon Knight discovered is pretty sweet, but they are in a rough spot, right? We we are representing lethal. Does it make sense it got two attack? Yeah, yeah, because this is per summon. So the line dance and the dread scale both got two attack, right? Unamused and V right there. Unamused. Unamused. Right? That's how your wife looks at you. When you don't uh, do what she wants you to do. <laughs> Is this lethal? Five, ten, nineteen. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. No one's going to believe this. I got this. The victory is yours. By the holy light! Alright, are we going for the final boss? Yeah, Observer of Myths, 100% MVP in this run. It's been so good with line dance, right? With double frost wing and with the bovine. It's just been so good, right? <laughs> Dude was like, by the holy light! <laughs> oh, I guess so. Uh... Alright, let's go for it. Are you gonna add a server at the end, Shusha? Suksa. Just like King W is doing. Alright, hit me. Come on, give me this 12. I would love... I would love another 12 win around for February. <laughs> yeah, 3.27. Kinda makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah, it could be. Again, Zygo, it could be. I just... Uh... I know you think I'm defending. Uh, what I feel like I'm doing is uh, trying to just educate people to, to make realistic, logical statements. They could still be a cheater. I'm not going to deny that. But if all your opponents are cheaters, then all your opponents will always be cheaters, right? Hey, Fundy! How many percent of Chinese players are normal players, would you say? I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I would personally say that there's probably less of a percentage right based on the whole server thing where more normal players stopped playing but because of the magnitude of chinese players the number of normal chinese players is huge how do you get that cool raid screen what cool raid screen How many rounds do you think the average barcode they bring before they play one? I reckon it's only 3 to 4 at most. 
I have no idea of know, but what I do know is that I think the average Firestone player retires one in three of their runs. Just for perspective. The hell is Lakla lead man? <laughs> the hell is Lakla? The hell is Lakla? Dude, I wanted. I think I take bovine just for this. I wanted buzzies, but whatever. Thank you for the 20 months, lead man. What are you doing, dude? Oh, you mean the Twitch raid? Like when I'm raiding at the end? That's a new Twitch thing. They're just rolling it out to random, um, random accounts as part of a beta thing. Like, like you have the watch streak and I don't, kind of stuff. Hope you don't have two left feet. Around. Do I have stats for that? Um, he was talking about it in the Firestone Discord. It's, a, it's an assumption that he's making, basically. I really want to fit in the adorable. Do I do it on the bovine? I think I do. Even though adorable on this is huge, though. Mm. No, I don't have it, Mafundi. No, I think I still do it on the bovine. I think I actually trade off the intrepid so they can't, like, silence this thing. Or whatever. I know I miss a damage, but it gives me some resilience. Yeah, I knew I knew that they released this feature about two days ago, and they just selected a subset of accounts, Mafundi, and if it works, they might roll it out. Because I saw I saw it posted on some some places. Hey Zeppu. I could carry instant. Do you ever Ma I feel like I should be henchmaning here. Is that weird? Have the AOE, right? I think I just do this. Hmm, I don't think I even play Slagmo. I think we do this. This. Um I guess if they have the digging straight down, whatever. And this. Just going for a real high roll deck, like picking Wishing Well early, hoping you get enough coins to make it work, you're talking if you don't get enough. As in, how many people do that though, Killin? What, sorry? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have these answers, or that's because of the retire thing that you're saying. Okay. Question here is, I think I trade the two for... Come on, come on, give it to me, come on. You just have a lot of aggression, right? They are one turn off from the tumbleweed. Okay, if it's ET boy, do not eat the 5-7. Okay, do not hit face. Face. Face two two or one three. Monster! <laughs> We're okay. Um Surely they don't do it again. I actually haven't been offered Mountain Bear once. But I've been offered these cards like four times. Yeah, I think it's draw. But I will do this. We'll start fitting in the hero power from next turn. Fitting in the hero power right now, Morokne, means I'm playing such a worse thing because right now, this taunt is, is stopping them from swinging Tempest, but is also stopping Tumble. Okay, do not hit the 5-7 again, come on. Mother! Yo, mate! You know what? Take this! Hey, whoop, whoops! 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 
All right, well, mother flipping hunter. Okay, closed. Say, just mate. Didn't have to be so difficult. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, that miner is like, oh my god, dude. I mean, I. Sweet deck. Um, I, 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 I thought it was really good, right? Um, I think MVP was actually Observer of Myths, but not just because, I mean, it's a good card by itself, but it just worked so well in this deck with Smorky Ones. Observer and then hitting hard with the bovine skeleton, double line dance, twisted thrust, swing times two. I think Camo Mount wasn't even close to MVP. Barely played the card, sincerely. It was just having the cheap mantle shaper to buff with the myths, or even something like playing frost wing, killing it off, and getting an extra buff with the resummon. Right? Um, I think that was MVP, actually. The hat was also good with Bovine for sure, for sure, right? Um, I think Mitz is MVP. So yeah, another little 12. Muy bueno. Let's check out the rewards. We're getting this one on uh, the tube. If you watch it on YouTube, here's a hunter. Nice little, uh, I haven't posed a 12 hunter yet because this is my first hunter for the meta. So I hope you enjoyed that. Showcase a little of the Mitz. Surely Henchman? I mean, Henchman was up there for sure, but I sincerely think Observer performed better than Henchman. But Henchman was one of the reasons that Observer performed so well. So I mentioned um, Bovine, Frostwing, Line Dance. Henchman was another reason for Observer popping, right? Rewards? Kinda mid? But again, you watch it on YouTube, support the channel, engage with the content. You know how to do it and what to do. And thank you.